Hello and welcome to Podcast. My name's Jake and today we're going to be talking about a new experience coming to Alton Towers in 2024. This light's a bit this light's a bit bright. Uh, too dark, too light. That'll do. So it was already shaping up to be a monumental year for Alton Towers in 2024. It's just become more exciting. Uh, because on February 1st, they announced that they'd be offering a brand new experience at the resort. Guests will be given the opportunity to walk the tracks of one of two iconic coasters at the park. You can embrace the height of oblivion, taking in the surreal views, or you can choose to walk upon the track of Wickerman and experience the attraction from a whole new perspective. This experience can be booked via the Alton Towers website on a select number of days throughout the season at a cost of £65 per person for the Wicker Man experience or £80 per person for Oblivion. This price will include the walk itself, a personal guide, one complimentary fast track at your chosen attraction and free express parking on the date of your visit. This does not however include admission to the park and you must have a valid theme park ticket on the day of your track walk. The experience will take place one hour after ride close time which will vary depending on the date you have booked. It's worth saying that these track walks won't be suitable for all guests. For the oblivion track walk, participants must be secured into a full body harness which may not be possible for some guests with a weight measurement in excess of 118cm or a thigh measurement approaching 65cm. Height restrictions also apply for both experiences with the minimum height for the Wickerman experience uh, being 1.2 meters and 1.4 meters for the Oblivion one. As well as this, all guests must be above the ages of 12 and anyone between the ages of 12 and 16 must be accompanied by an adult. So what does a track walk actually involve? Well, starting with Oblivion, uh, the package itself includes a full safety briefing and equipment hire. Uh, you get an escorted walk up the lift hill and supposedly around the sort of viewing platform at the top of Oblivion. It's stated that you'll get an exclusive behind the scenes view. Now, exactly what this is isn't specified as of yet. Uh, this could be a look around the station, maybe into the maintenance bay, which sounds really boring, but it would be really interesting to sort of get a behind the scenes look of how everything works on Oblivion. Uh, I assume they'll take you into the operator's cabin and um, yeah. And of course you get the fast track and the free parking. And as well as that, you get a virtual certificate again, yeah, I've, I've. But the Wickerman track walk includes a full safety briefing. It's currently stated that you won't need sort of a, a harness or any sort of safety equipment to walk up the track itself. Uh, this is because the, if you've seen the Wickerman lift hill, the sort of the steps at the side, it's perfectly safe. Hey, just before we get into the video, I'd just like to point out that there's going to be daily uploads on this channel every single day. Yes, that's right, every day until the end of 2024. So please make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Other than that, the experience includes the same things, pretty much so there's the, the fast track, um, there will be the express parking, and you'll also get a virtual certificate. Don't know what that's gonna look like, but it's included. The experiences will last roughly 60 minutes, meaning that there's the potential that you'll be doing it sort of at sunset. I can imagine on Oblivion on like a later day, that's going to be amazing. Sort of walking up the lift hill as the sun's beginning to set. That could be the case. It could not be. You never know. It just depends on the day. The groups for this experience have been kept deliberately low. So um, no matter when you book, you'll be with a maximum of seven other people for a group size of eight. Of course, this makes it quite an exclusive and intimate experience. You can obviously ask questions. There'll be I mean, the guides and sort of staff at Alton Towers are always open for conversation. They're really good, cool. As I mentioned, all this information is available at altontowers.com, the same place where you book the experiences. So if you are looking to do one of these or if you've done one before, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be interested if you have done one before or if you're looking forward to doing one, you know what? What, you, what are your thoughts? Please let me know. Do you think this is a good move for Towers? Um, do you think they should do more of this sort of thing in the future? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. My name's Jake and thank you very much for watching. See you later.